Have you ever been worried that you've been scammed out of $55,000? Well, let me tell you, I breathed a sigh of relief when this truck showed up with my CNC router on it. It had been a long road, a lot of waiting and a lot of broken promises from Cam Master, but it was finally here and now all I had to worry about was dropping it off of the forklift and whether or not it fit in my garage. And I know what you're thinking, and you're right, it is a nice tarp. Anyways, the reason it felt like I was being scammed was because the machine took seven months to get to me after they promised it to me in three, and during that additional four months, it was nearly impossible to get them to answer their phones. So I was like, is this a real company? So I'm just going to poke this in the garage and you can see just how close that is to not fitting. Kind of scary. Now that I'm in the garage, I'll finish unwrapping it and hit my head on it just for good measure. So I want to say quickly that I did not buy this router to make YouTube videos. I bought it to start a tooling manufacturing business, which is what I've been doing professionally for the past 10 years or so, and I wanted to go into business for myself. I decided to start a YouTube channel while I waited for my business to get up off the ground. I do plan on using this router in my future YouTube videos, but I want to make it clear that that's not the reason why I bought it. And I think this goes without saying, but I'm not being paid or sponsored by Cam Master to disparage their machine. These equipment skates made it super easy to position the router in my garage. It's kind of a two-person job, but I was able to manage it alone. It was actually surprisingly easy. So now with the router located where I want it to be, I'm going to jack it up and put leveling feet underneath it. Now, this machine showed up at my door with very little documentation about setup and operation, which is pretty frustrating because you get like a 50-page manual when you buy an egg beater, and this machine is considerably more complex than an egg beater, so I would have really liked to see more documentation delivered with the machine. Pinche maldito master. These are actually the first cuts of the machine so I was pretty excited to get that going so I don't know how clearly this has come across in this video but I have some real complaints about this machine and that's not to say that I'm not super excited to have it because I am I am very much looking forward to running this machine and making some money with it but Cam Master's customer service has been horrible ever since I signed the paperwork to buy the machine they almost never answer their phones and they only answer emails sporadically my next big complaint after the customer service would have to be the controller software. Here's an example. I can't adjust the rapid rate of the machine, which is super dangerous because the entire machine comes running at me at 2,000 inches per minute, which is pretty fast, and it about makes me poop myself. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I have never dealt with a CNC machine that you could not adjust the rapid on. And there's other stuff, but let's move on. I haven't been super impressed with the cut quality, but I'm working with Cam Master to tweak some settings to improve that. We'll see where that ends, hopefully at a much better place. So what I'm showing here is a pattern being made, and this is what I bought the CNC to do. And you know what? After all my complaining, it actually does a pretty good job. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of room for improvement. And if I had to do it again, I would buy a different machine. But at the end of the day, I'm thankful to have it and excited to be using it. Thanks for watching.